Thank you for listening to our Faith Temple, NFPOG, broadcast. If you would like more information about us, you can visit our website at www.ftnfcog.org. We are also on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Just type Faith Temple, NFCOG in the search. She said, uh, Pastor Grant comes and preaches the word to us. Our Father God in heaven, I give that great and precious name, praise, and honor. God, we thank you for this day. Thank you, God, for the day that you've given us, another day to live holy. Father, we magnify your name. We glorify your name. We lift you up. We exalt you. We exalt you, Father. There is none like you. Glorious and holiness. Woo! Thank you, God, because of who you are in us on today. Thank you, God, for salvation through the precious blood of Jesus. You didn't have to do it, Father, but you did. You counted us worthy to be saved. And God, I return this morning just to tell you thank you. Spirit of the living God, as always, I would ask you to have your way. Continue to have your way in the midst of your people. Spirit, these are indeed your people called by your name. You appointed us to be here at this particular time. God, to be a, a participant of what you're going to do this day. Spirit, uh, show yourself. Manifest your power. Manifest your anointing. God, you said your word. No man can come unless you draw them. Now, no man. You stir up hearts, you stir up minds, and you stir up spirits. So give them boldness. Yea, God, to come forth. Uh, crying, many brethren, what must I do to be saved? Yea, God, we desire someone to cry holy. We desire someone to be sanctified and baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. Yea, God, we want somebody, yea, God, to enjoy what we are enjoying on today. Spirit of the living God, I want to tell you, thank you for what you've already done in this place, this week. Thank you for the word that has gone out this week in this place. Thank you every servant that stood behind this sacred desk and declared the unadulterated word of God. Yea, God, I pray that you would strengthen and move it for them in the name of Jesus. God, let no one leave this place uh, without being touched by your power, without being touched by your anointing. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Spirit of the living God, you're already here. Uh, Spirit of the living God, you've already made yourself known. Uh, we have living examples uh, in this place uh, that can declare that God is a healer. God is a deliverer. God is a savior. So Father, continue to do your perfect work. Get on, get glory upon yourself this day. Father, open up your word. Send your word, send your anointing. Make your word so very plain, Father, that everyone can understand. No one will leave here, Father, without being touched by your word. Your word is a lamp unto our feet. It's a light unto our path. Yea, God, the word of God is quick. It's powerful. It's sharper. And hallelujah. The any two-edged sword. Here today, God, dividing the thunder of soul and soul spirit of the joints and Mara. God, that is your word. Send your word. Send your word. Send your word. Send your word. Yeah, God is already, already the purpose uh, to do that which you call for it to do. Uh, we declare it uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, we declare your power in Jesus' name. Uh, we declare your anointing uh, in this place. We declare your healing uh, in this place. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we declare souls to be saved uh, in this place. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, it is so. It is so. Uh, it is so. Uh, and the people of God say amen. Uh, amen. And thank God. Thank God. Let the people of God say thank God. Hallelujah. Oh, don't you feel good? You may be seated momentarily in the presence of God. To our bishop. God bless you, bishop. Amen. Well, you know, bishop already preached the sermon. Yes, he did too. Amen. He could just gone on forth. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody could have caught on faith right there. 
this living example here. Amen. Last year, this time he couldn't even move. Ah, hallelujah. You look at that miracle. Some people have strokes and never recover. But look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Past doctor's understanding. Past medical science understanding. He's not supposed to be moving around like he is. But the grace of God that it was shed on us and in him. God's healing power. Amen. 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 God does these kinds of things so people will know he's still God. Amen. Don't you know after Job went through his trial, he was better than ever? Do you not know that? Amen. Spiritually, had Bishop is someplace spiritually now than what he was back then. Job was better spiritually after the trial. Amen. He needed to be blessed naturally. Hey, hey, hallelujah. You know to understand God, you gotta go. You just can't sit up in the pew and have a light with a praise. God will take you through the valley of death to prove who he is to you. Hallelujah. Apostle said it like this. I praise God that I'm unworthy to suffer. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's all right, Elder Cheryl. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. You're healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I told God to take it off of you and put it on me. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I believe God on today. I believe God. I believe God. Hallelujah. Yes, I do. To Elder Cheryl, God bless you. To Elder Denise Toll, God bless you. Precious sisters of God, he made, you, made your way down from Baltimore this morning to be here with us. God bless you. God love you to Pastor Paul and the land. Say amen to everyone that I don't know you by name. I welcome you this day. Amen. To the house of God. Amen. To the spirit of God. Amen. We just don't come just to have a nice little service and go home. Amen. We could have stayed home and did that. Yes. Amen. We come get together. Amen. To receive something from the Lord. Every time. Amen. We come. Amen. Crusade doesn't end after today. Crusade continues. Again, uh, keep hearing the scripture. Go ye into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come. Somebody needs to be told. Mother Grant was all in the lobby telling me, do you not know crusades is going on down in history, history land? And here she was. She was spreading the word. Yeah, you got to tell him. Somebody got to tell him. He needs you to tell him. He needs me to tell him. It won't happen by itself. I told y'all that the, 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 the woman that Jesus met at the well, she said, come see the man. They told me everything. And here come the men following right behind her. And, and, and they were, they had two day revival. I remember a scripture. That's right. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm telling you, we're living in a time the power of God is going to fall in the midst of people. Yes. I believe that. I, I just, I've seen it happen. I'm telling you. I saw, you know, every period of years, God does something that will make the, the world sit up and take notice. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was served under my daddy back in 1974, and I'm telling you, the power of God came through the church. Young folk were saved, old folk were saved. Amen. Hallelujah. And I believe we're just at that time now. God is going to show himself again. Amen. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So somebody needs to know that this thing is right. All right, we're going to turn our attention to the Word of God. We can talk on and on, but that's not what we're up here to do. Would you stand at the reading of God's Word? I'm going to ask you to turn your Bibles with me to uh, 1 Corinthians, Paul's first letter to the church of Corinth, the ninth, the ninth chapter, the ninth chapter, and the 24th verse. 1 Corinthians, chapter 9, 
Verse 24. Are we there? God's word reads, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receive the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, yes. but I keep under my body yes. and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I, myself, should be a castaway. Father, bless the preaching and God bless the teaching of your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, and thank God. You might be seated in the presence of an almighty God. We have been, I have rather, been using song titles for my subject. Amen, all week long. I can't remember a time where God has directed me in that particular way and we we'll have another one for you on this afternoon I trust it's after 12 o'clock that's afternoon and you should have already uh, uh, guessed what that song is it's the same song in the church I'm running for my life I'm running for my life if anybody ask you What's the matter with me? Tell them I'm saved. I'm sanctified. <laughs> yes, that is the song that I'm running for my life. The, 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 the song title alludes to the fact that a man time is short. Time is of the essence. Yes, yes. And because it's short, it's of essence, you're running with purpose. You're running with a goal in mind. I thought about the, 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 the thing that, 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 I see people jogging. I just don't think they're jogging just to be out there jogging. I guess they're there to, to lose some weight, to get in shape. That's goal, that's purpose. Then we have those that run marathons. We just had one just this past week. We can have it if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So a whole bunch of folks. Yes. Yes. In the marathon, but only one won the prize. Yes. They ran with yes. purpose in mind and they ran with a goal. Yes. The hour is late. Yes, it is. It is. The day yes. is far spent. And, and the time that we knew, we won't know that time anymore. The time is short, so the time that we have left, I don't care whether you're young, I don't care whether you're middle-aged or whether you're in your senior years, the time is short. And the time that we knew, we don't know that time anymore. And we must make the years we have left, they must be productive years for God. Bible says in such an hour that you think not the Son of Man is coming. So it behooves everyone to look back over your life and take inventory and see, am I ready to meet him? Huh. I'm running for my life. Peter, Apostle Peter, cut it even closer than that. He, he, he said, Something like this in 1 Peter, the fourth chapter. It says, now, if the righteous scarcely be saved. I'm going to repeat that again, but something should hit your spirit. If the righteous, I'm talking about we that are, are sanctified and baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. If we scarcely make it, where shall the sinner and the ungodly appear? The word scarcely. Saints with all of our fasting, with all of our praying, with all of our private amen devotion, with all our coming to church, and we just scarcely. Where shall the 
an ungodly, it puts everything in perspective, does it not? Yeah. I want you to sit just like you are. I'm running. <laughs> time to make haste. I have no time to waste. I hear the old church now. There's no time to stop by the, the wayside and pick flowers. Amen. Amen. It's time. It's time. It's time for us to do something. Amen. To run all that we can for God. Yes. Paul points that uh, up so very plainly in his rank. I could go back and bring you up, but let me get into the meat of what I want to tell you today. He lets us know. He compares, if you will, the the Grecian games to our living holy in expectation of our meeting Christ. He understood that they that run in a race, they run all. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. They don't have step. Yes, Lord. Amen. They put every effort, all the energy into what they're doing because I want to win. Yes, now, when I was playing sports, I wasn't just there just to be there. I wanted to win. That's right. Amen. Yeah. I didn't win. You had a sad sack on your soul, yeah. on your hands. Amen. Yeah. I, I wasn't just there to look good and be, be, be just me myself to be projected. Yeah. I wanted the team to win, and I put all of my energies into. It. All right. Yeah. 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 Paul says the same thing. Those that run, they run with purpose. They're running to win the prize. Yeah. Now, if we are running for our life, if we want to see his face in peace, that means we run all, every effort, every sinew, every, amen, thing we can muster. I'm going to do it to the, with excellence. I'm going to do it to the glory of God. I want to hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. He says, only one. Only one received the prize. I'm talking about the Grecian games now. Yes. The marathons, if yes. you will. Only one. Yes. Of all the training, the rest of them, did only one. Yes. Now Paul says now, if you understand that, understand this. He said, so run that you may obtain. Yes. Right. Yes. I'm running a race because I want my crown. Yes. I preach that certain ones. I want my crown. Yes. I do. Yes, I do. Amen. Yes. He said, so run. Run with purpose. Run, amen, with a goal in your mind. Amen. I want to hear him say, well done. Thou good and faithful servant. Don't pass those words by. Thou good and faithful servant. We have crowned the way. It's a crown of life. It's waiting for every one of you that name the name of Christ. Paul is our example, but we can fast forward, amen, and understand his, amen, declaration at the end of his life. <laughs> he said, I fought a good fight. I kept the faith. I finished my course. Therefore, there's a crown of righteousness that's laid up for me. Yeah. Not only for me, but everyone that loves his appearing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Think about that. Bishop said we in a war. Yes. Crusade is a holy war. Yes. Yes. We declare war against amen the works of God. We declare war against, amen, Satan himself. So in other words, to escape, amen, we've got to run with purpose in our life. Yeah. Yes, we do. That you might obtain, I'm working, you're working for a crown of life. Yeah. Amen, eternal life. Yeah. Uh, a crown that says I'm never going to die. Amen, I'm going to live forever. Who in here would not want to live forever? That's my, my inheritance. I'm going to live forever. How? Eternally, eternally. Crown of life. Don't have to pray anymore. Don't 
have to fast anymore. Amen. I can be with the angels rejoicing and shouting around the throne. Amen. Never grow old. Amen. Sisters, you're worried about your beauty. You live long enough, the Bible said that's going to fade. Hallelujah. Hand may begin to fall out. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah. That means I'm aging, but I'm going to a place, we're going to a place where we'll never grow old. Aren't you glad about that? Won't have to put your wigs on and your tracks in. No! Somebody better tell the Lord, thank you. I want you to get excited about running the race. We got a race to run. Yes, we do. So run. Run all you can. Run all that's within you. I'm going to tell you how to run in a few minutes, but just let me work on this a little bit. Somebody say, thank the Lord. And every man that striveth for the mastery is tempered in all things. Let me make the word of God plain for you. Have you heard the, the, the expression, jack of all trades, but master of none? In other words, you do a little bit here in a little bit there. You know a little bit about this, and you know a little bit about that. But you wouldn't call yourself a master. You wouldn't call yourself a master electrician. You just have knowledge to get the job done for what you want to get done. No, but he, he, he that strives, the Bible said. Hallelujah for the masters. Amen. We want to be we want to be a man in that particular area where we can help somebody else. Let me go natural so you understand the spirit. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. I remember years ago when I was picking around with the piano and daddy called on me to direct and lead the mass choir. I couldn't just pick around anymore. I had to spend some time there. Spend hours, hours listening and learning. Amen. I would go to those. Amen. They could teach so I could learn something. Because my dad went out on his engagement. He wanted the mass choir to be right. Amen. He looked at him over there and saw wasn't going right. I knew his look. You know, my parents would give you that look when things are not right. That was good for that. And I knew exactly what it meant. But the point being, I had to spend hours. Amen. Perfected so I could teach the choir. Amen. I could teach them the soprano part. I could teach them the alto part. I could teach them the tenor part. I could teach them the bass part. And then we had instruments. I'm going to get back to that. I'm going to be a master. Amen. We had bass guitar. We had lead guitar. Amen. We had drums. We had piano and organ. We had bongos. One time we even had uh, amen, a trumpet uh, and had to get all the instruments uh, coordinated together uh, so that we went out and we, we sound like one unit. Uh, in other words, they were doing something on their own and he wasn't doing something on his own. We were uh, a united group together. Yes, we were, but we had to spend time in rehearsal. Some songs we went on one little part. I spent a whole hour in rehearsal. Mother Grandma tell you, trying to get one little bridge in the song because we wanted to get it right. I'm talking about mastery. The Bible says you're tempered, you're self-controlled. I had to let this go. I had to let that go. I had to concentrate on this. What am I trying to tell you? If you want to make living holy, working for the kingdom of God, you got to let that go. You got to you have to let that go. I'm going to tell you how much I was serious about my salvation. I prayed the word before I was saved. And I promised God I'm not even going to touch the instrument until he saved me. That's how much I was serious about. Amen. My salvation. Because knowing God, receiving salvation is more important than playing music. Amen. Than doing other things. I was consumed with knowing who 
Jesus to you. Yes, I was. I want you, house of hope of faith, to be consumed with living holy, seeing the face of God. I'm running for my life. Are you running for my life? Because one day, the phone will ring. Somebody will get a text. Did you hear the news? Apostle Grant passed this morning. I'm running. I'm going to need God on my side. So he, every man that struck for the mastery, he struck. Uh, even the runners, uh, they let certain things go, uh, certain things out of the diet. Uh, I won't eat this, uh, I won't drink this, uh, I won't even be with my wife, uh, because that's going to lack my strength. Uh, I'm letting everything go, uh, so I can build myself up. Uh, I heard the word of God say, building yourself up uh, in the most holy faith, uh, in the Holy Ghost. Uh, do you understand what I'm trying to tell you to do? If it's a hinder, let it go. Wow. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Every man that's striving, you know what striving is. You make effort out. You do it out. Day by day. You don't let a day go by unless you make an effort out in getting the job done. The Paul went on to say, they do it. Or corrupt or I'm told uh, as soon as they put the olive leaves uh, on the winner's head, uh, it was already faded. Uh, yes, it was. Uh, so I'm running, I'm running uh, for an incorruptible. Uh, incorruptible means uh, it won't fade. Uh, it won't waste away. Uh, it won't go anywhere. Uh, it's mine. Uh, it's all mine. Run the race, church. Uh, I'm running. Are you running for your life? He said, therefore, talk about himself now. I therefore so run. I'm not running uncertainly. I'm not running and don't know what I'm running about. I know what it's all about. Thank you, Jesus. He gives us another time we can understand. He said, so I fight not as though, not right, not as one that beats the air. Paul was talking about those uh, pigeons, foxes, if you will. Every boxer looks good in the gym. Amen. He is in the air. The true test is when he get in the ring. With another poem, and when the blow is coming, thank you, Jesus. Well, I can say something. He can fight. What is your key to winning? He says, When I hit, I'm hitting with a bad intention. And that's the way we got to be with the devil. When you start to blow for the enemy, you got to do it with a bad intention. You want to kill him. Correct something. I'm here and I know the Bible says put the devil under your feet. Oh, nothing wrong with that. But I'm killing the devil. I don't want to hurt my feet. I'm killing them. You know how to kill the devil? Obedience. Simple obedience will kill the devil. Oh, I'm running for my life. 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 Yes, he was. God said he was the anointed cherub. Every jewel, every precious stone he was dead with. Yes, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he got, he rose up rather in pride. He wanted us to fool the place of the Son of God. He wanted to be God himself. God could not die. Stand for that time in a holy place. So he can't rise up here and expect to stay in God's presence. So God kicked him out of heaven. Yes, he did. And a third, a third of 
all the angels uh, went with him also. Uh, that's why he uh, ain't made distract you. Uh, that's why he tried to keep you uh, found because he know uh, his peace in heaven, his joy in heaven. He said, my Lord, uh, you will go where he is. He used to be. Uh, hallelujah. Somebody say, thank God. So I therefore run, not as I'm certain of it. So I fight, not as one that beateth the air. I'm not beating the ass, sister. I'm not going and going through the motions. Motions don't get you anywhere. I heard the word of God say, put on the whole armor. Yeah. That's another lesson. For another time. For we wrestle not, the Bible says, uh, against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Uh, we wrestle against powers. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, the rules of darkness uh, of this world. Uh, spiritual wickedness uh, in high places. Uh, we fight the devil. Uh, but I want you to run. Uh, run the race. Uh, I'm running. I'm running. Are you running for your life? I'm gonna get real deep in your business this morning. Get the strap in this morning. Can you strap in? <laughs> Daddy says, sit up, take a hold of those this morning. Yeah. Hallelujah. How Brother Paul said something, I keep, I keep under my body. Do y'all know what that means? Paul understood that the body can take precedence over the soul and the spirit if you allow it to. Let me make that point. We know it's church like that. I'm going to stay in there. Well, you're good, you're good, you're good. So come on. To the body. I feel a little fever. I must have a cold. I'd rather do like the old saints used to do. Take, take to the church and get healed at night. We don't believe like that in the world. Huh? But we succumb to the fact that take care of yourself. Now I believe in the doctor. No, you misunderstand me. God has given that the knowledge and understanding and the wisdom huh? to that was kind. Huh? But I yet believe in divine healing. Huh? Yes, I do. Huh? Let me raise my hand. Huh? I'm one that was diagnosed huh? with a heart murmur. Huh? But in my early 20s, huh? They said I would get out of breath. I couldn't do that and couldn't do that. But I'm here to let you know, after 50 years later, I'm still, 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 no shortness of breath. I still can do what I want to do. Because God is my keeper. God is my healer. Do you hear what I'm under? What I'm trying to tell you? Throw the pause. I'm bring my body in. The idea is to make your soul and your spirit rule. So the body. That's yeah. The body is telling me one of the But the Spirit of God, the Spirit inside of me, is telling me to go ahead. I, I have power over the physical. I have power over the natural. But I cannot serve God. I can't do the work of God like this. So I bring my body, body get under the Word of God. To the word of God. With his times, we are healed. With their times, that was fair counsel. I know that seems crazy to do sanity to somebody. But it works. Somebody say the word. I'm running. If I had, amen, if I felt like going. Every time I left Florida, I wouldn't feel like that. I wouldn't know. You may not understand that because I put my body under subjection. You can put your body under subjection. Sister Carol, you can put your body under subjection. You believe God and the spirit of living God will take control from there. Paul says, Paul being a apostle, how to heal. Amen. Saints of God following him. He understood that I have a personal fight myself. But let my body do what I wanted to do. And not with the body. 
Christ is telling me to do. Do you believe the word of God? Do you believe the unadulterated word of God? It is true. Did you sign up for life? Did you sign up for life? Or did you sign up to go to self good? You do what you want to do. So I told the Holy Ghost that I have. It won't let me do what I want to do. My Holy Ghost leads me. It guides me. It directs me in all truth. It talks to me. It speaks to me. Yes, it does. Did I not say so? What does your Holy Ghost, what is your Holy Ghost telling you to do? Mine tell me to put my body under subjection. When it's time to eat, I eat time. But when it's time to fast, you better know I'm fasting. Amen. The Bible says this time, what time? The miracles and the signs and wonders in the church. This time, those are my life, but my prayer and fasting. That's the church. That's the word of the church. That's the church that's running out for their life. That was the character. That was the meaning of the first church after the day of Pentecost. They were running for their life. Ask me why. They thought Christ was coming back any day now. And they live in expectation that tomorrow might be the day. Don't come the day. Next week may be the week that he's coming. And we've got to live the same way. I don't know when he's coming. But when he comes, I want to be ready. I want to be ready. I want to step out and be him. Are you running for your life? Yeah. Or you sitting by the sideline? Uh, Amen. Taking in the, the view. Are you in the game? Or are you watching the game? Yeah. Yeah. DJ, you play sports? Right. Occasionally. Maybe we couldn't have gotten along. <laughs> Maybe you couldn't have been on my team. I don't want to be in the game. I don't want to be on the sideline. Ain't no fun. Ain't no riding the game. Put me in the game, coach. Master, you still will get it again. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Paul says, no, number one reason for running for your life, right. you got to put your body right. in subjection. Yes. 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 Somebody asked me, how do I do that? Mm -hmm. right. How do I do that? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to answer me. Yeah. Ah. This is big, you go a long way. We go a long way, but you don't mind, you don't mind asking the question. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm going to tell you how you put your body under subjection. Turn with me. And I'm turning to the book of Colossians. Woo! I told you I'm going to be needy, you need So y'all strap in there. Y'all strap in there. Yes. I'm going to tell you how to put your, your body under subjection. Woo! Paul right to the Colossian church. He said in the fifth verse of the third chapter, more fine. Mortify means to kill. It means to put to death. Are you reading this? What I'm reading. Yeah. God, mortify therefore your members. Yeah. Yeah. Members. Right. Yeah. 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 Kill that. Yeah. Mm, put your the earth. Fornication. Yeah. 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 Sexual activity in. Yeah. Yeah. Side the marriage or outside the marriage. Put fornication yes. to death. Yes. 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 All right. All right. I'm an apostle of Lord Jesus Christ. I can teach this stuff. Yes. Right. I'm living this stuff. Yes. I had no sweethearts in the church, out of the church, sideline or nothing. I married one woman, and we've been in love almost 50 years. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. 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 Yes.
Hallelujah. I gotta have a head of office now. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hey, one sister called me. Hey, Bishop, just tell me what you want to do. I'm available to you. I know what she was trying to say. I am not stupid, Pastor yeah. Paul. Yeah. You hear me here? Yeah. You want to name somebody else in the city that did that? I said, baby, this phone call is in all right, uncleanness. Paul said, put the death unclean. Y'all know what uncleanness is? Homosexuality. Lesbianism. Bestiality. Every sexual perversion that will keep you away from, away from the, 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 the plan of God. Y'all go everywhere here this every Sunday. I know you don't. I know you don't. In order to affection. I really think uncleanness covers that. Here we have now old men playing on young women, young girls, not even age of 10. That's in order. Affection, y'all know it is. Amen. Incest. Mother sleeping with son. Father sleeping with daughter. In order. Affection. Paul said, put it to death. Should not be named among evil concupiscence. Uh, that means an insatiable desire, appetites, uh, and passions. Uh, somebody can't run the race, uh, but they can't keep the fork, uh, can't keep the spoon uh, out of the mouth. Uh, I'm running. I'm just bold enough. I'm just bad enough to preach the word of God to you. You got to run the race. And you got to run according to the word of God. Covetousness. Can't afford it. But you want it. You don't need it. But you just want to keep up with the Joneses. If they get it, you got it. You put yourself in debt. Because you wanted it. Paul said, which is I. Dollar you're worshiping, you're worshiping, bow down to things, inanimate objects. Do you hear what the word of God is telling you? So which things say God? The Bible says the wrath of God comes upon the children of disobedience. Let me skip down now. Let me skip down now. How full of faith I am. I don't believe that those that are saved and sanctified, y'all are doing that stuff. Y'all are not doing that stuff. Y'all ain't got no girlfriends, ain't no boyfriends hitting in the closet. Amen. So God's going to reveal it to me. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Get your eighth person. But now, but now, but now, but now, he also, church of God, are put off all ye. Anger. 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 Malice. That thing that wants you to retaliate when things don't go your way. Malice. Blasphemy. Speak against the Holy Ghost and the Word of God. Mostly the Word of God. I don't believe that God said that. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Filthy communication out of your mouth. Thanks to God. We don't curse. We don't. We came along. If we were careful, Pastor would even recommend us if we use slang in the world. Slang of the world. I told you we had a saying. The old folks may remember this. We had an old saying in the world. I'm out there and don't bit more care. You remember that, don't you, Yeah. You've been out there, Bishop Grant. Say that I should know. He said that's not the world. We put all that stuff away. You need the world's language. We got we have a new language. You can't even say that around. Amen. Reverend King. I made a mistake. Coming home one night. And I told you we had a good time. Hold up, son. Thanks to God don't have a good time. Said I have a good time in the world. Saints have a glorious time. Papa, you'll never hear that come out my mouth again. That's how much he was close with the world of God. He, he, he knew it was in the world. I told you my father-in-law, he was a pimp in New York City. He ran the city with the work of a switchblade, a 22 and brass knuckles. He could run women. He had the women lined up. Yes, he did. He walked around with a fistful of money in his pocket. He 
more. 500 dollars suit. Amen with the sex. Amen to the for the rag shop. Yes, he did. Always had a new car. And God saved that man at 49 and a half years. He came to the church. His daughters brought him to Christ. He said, Daddy, I don't want to see you go to hell. He said, I'm going back one more time. We'll see if this thing is real. And the Lord sanctified my father all that night. I'm here listening to that man who was never the same guy. The same man that ran living. The same man that if you look at your friend, he would kill you. God cleaned him up. God sanctified him. Put a new direction in his life. The same money that he's to spend in the world. He brought that money to the church or pastor day. He would lay $500 down for the pastor. He helped an elder down in, in yes, Spring Hope, North Carolina to build his church. Amen. He gave cars away. He didn't ask for no money. He gave me a car. He gave his brother-in-law a car. He, he channeled all of that into the church. That's what God would do for you if you live holy, if you live sanctified. Put off all of these for the communication out of your mouth. Line out to one to another. Granddaddy said, right now, it's still alive. If it's not true, it's still alive. Somebody tell me I'm running. We got to cut off. We got to kill out. We got to strip off. That's what we need to do. And you can run for your life. Mother. His mother put amen uh, an anointed handkerchief 
under his bed and prayed, knelt down there beside the bed and told him, God, when he lays down his bed, don't let him rest content. Don't you dis disturb him on this bed. Talk to him. Nerves in. He switched, went down, and started sleeping at the bottom of the bed. Hallelujah. Prayer works, y'all. Prayer works. Yes, it does. Then, then, then the enemy wanted to trap him with one of the young sisters in the church. Hallelujah. They the him and bang on. This is the one for you. I'm telling all of you, you better wait. Hey, hallelujah. You get yourself tied up. I can tell you about some marriage counsel. Don't nobody tell you about marriage counsel today. So don't set me down. You get so there, down, down the, 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 the book with the marriage counsel thing. Hallelujah. Long story short, the same boy, the same young man that, 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 that we prayed for, asking God to bring him to the house of God. He's pastoring the church in Florida today. He's standing just like I am all the day, preaching the unadulterated word of God. Y'all think I, I preach in Florida. No, I don't. I only preach when I get on the road. The only thing I do in Florida when we go to church is play the keyboard. I sit there and listen to him and I marvel at the Lord, at the grace of God that you work in his life. Sister Edith did the same thing for us. We'll do the same same thing for you. Don't worry. I don't care what he's doing. I'll be waiting for If God has his hand on him, he will bring him. And as long as there is God, there is a hope. So let me tell you the scripture now. Mary and Martha in the house. Jesus right in the house. And Martha staring around. And Jesus looked at her and said, Martha, you're troubled about many things. Martha was a worry. Lord, thank my sister to help me in the kitchen. All Martha was concerned about is getting the food out. So they eat. That, that, that's good. That's good. But that ain't it. There's Mary sitting there at Jesus' feet. Martha, you're told you're coming about many things. But Chosen the best part. She sat there, wanted to hear the word of God. And you mean this with God? You will sit and hear the word of God. Yes, you will. Be careful for nothing. All things by prayer and supplication. Let me stop right there. Supplication. Supplication means you got to be specific in your prayer. Got to be specific. I told y'all I want to be blessed. Everybody that's on the top side of this earth wants to be blessed. They want to trouble in life. They want to pay money in the house. They want the cars. They want everything right. It ain't going to happen. I told you the other night that a man that's born of a woman is of a few days, and those days are full of trouble. Come in the house. It's going to rain. Come on in the house now. Hallelujah. Yes. Supplication means I'm specific. Lord, I want you. I want salvation. I want full salvation. Lord, specific. I need my he need you. My mind is not actually You want to be Baby, the boy. I told you that is it a girl boy? Is it a girl boy? What is the name? Is it a girl Grant? What's the name? What is the name? Do you want to ask? Uh, Amen. Uh, be exactly right. He was uh, yeah, y'all the record from wrong. He was in the temple. What is the name? Name clean stuff. So put a name on. What do you want from the Lord? The sister came here. I'm not. She said I have no peace. Peace. Prayer. Supplication. With Thanksgiving. Let your request. That's prayer. Let your request be made known unto God. Peace of God. The least thing you're gonna get is peace. The peace of God that passes can you amen understand and comprehend how can the sex lay down at night when troubles all around? Amen. Things are here. I told God I said, Lord, I need you. 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 I need you
actually good in the head. Yes, I do. I tell the Lord to me up. I don't worry about nothing. I know y'all worry about the convocation going to be. I ain't got to worry. I didn't learn how to put stuff in God's hands. And the peace of God that passes all of us shall keep your heart and your mind. Nobody sanctified got to be crazy. I don't believe in the of God. I don't believe in the whole time of God. We are sanctified. We are kept by the power of God. Pray. If you don't have a prayer life, pray. I tell you, my daddy taught the church how to pray. He said, I want to hear you pray, church. Get on your knees. Everybody get on your knees. I don't care if you don't feel like you get down. Everybody. Yeah, Dad, what was that? Stick the mic in your phone. That's yeah, yeah. pray. I want you I want you to say, oh Lord, thank you, dear. I want you to pray. You you went to you went to mumbling something. Amen. 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 We got witnesses here. I'm not telling y'all something outside my neck. He was standing you up. You sleeping? He's standing you up. He said, Revive yourself. Stand up in that corner. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Pray. Get a prayer life. Yes, Lord. So I want to hear you pray. Call on Jesus. Stay down there an hour yes. before Bible teaching. Amen. Amen. Did you say hour? Yes, yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. My vision had me down there an hour yes. Yes. before Bible teaching. Yes. Just pray. Just pray. Amen. The church yes, matures, the church grows, yes. the church stands up in power in a fire when you pray. Running for your life, you pray. God will wake you up in the morning and pray. Get up and pray. I'm not talking about laying in the bed. I'm getting God to get up on your knees and pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Those same babies that he used to stick the mic in the front of the face. They're pastor in there. Y'all see this daughter here? She came to the church. Nothing but a crap baby. Cry, why about everything? That ain't the same church with that. That's not the same church. Same church stands in the power of the morning. So if you obey the word of God, you listen to the word of God. Hallelujah. Say God. We got the prayer thing out the way. We put our bodies in subjection. We got a prayer life. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Oh, well, what was I? I told you, yeah, this gets monotonous. I, I, can't, I can't stand doing monotonous stuff. Yeah. You know how people do peace work? Yeah. I couldn't work in a factory. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not speaking against it. If somebody works in a factory, please don't get offended. I'm talking about myself. I can't do it. I can't stand there and just do the same thing all day. The same thing all day. That is monotonous. My point being, prayer is monotonous work. Yes, 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 thank you, baby. Yes. It is. But we yes. do it because we're running. Yes. 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 Something just clicks in my spirit. Yes. It's prayer time. Yes. Yes. It, 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 there's a click in your spirit. Like, yes. I can't lay here. It's time to pray. Yes. I disturb my wife at night because I'm getting up yes. 2, 3 o'clock. Yes. It's prayer time. Yes. Yes. God told me, I told y'all, God told me, he said, I'm going to take you in the morning. I said, God, why you said tell me that? He said, because you beat me in the morning. I don't mind going away in the morning. I'm going home. I'm going home in the morning from you. We can say, y'all say, I'm going home on morning train. Even in train, baby, be too late. Don't say, I'm ready to go. My granddaddy went home 5 o'clock in the morning. 
Oh, I told you speak in the tongue when you left. My daddy went home five o'clock in the morning. My mother, she passed, and she was speaking in tongues. Yes, she, yes, she was too. I was there. We were there. Yes, she did too. Amen. She knew where she was going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got the prayer out the way. But then after prayer, you need the word of God. How can you run without the word of God? How can you fight the enemy without the word of God? I'm not talking just reading. The word of God has got to be embedded. It's got to be in you. You must be one with the word. The word is you. You are the word. We don't memorize scriptures because of we want to show everybody that we know scripture. There ain't nothing. I'm too old to memorize stuff now. Right. Stuff ain't sticking to the wall like it used to. I'll be the first to tell you. My memory's kind of slipped a little bit. I'm talking about as far as amen. Doing, doing stuff like I used to do stuff. I remember when I was in school. I remember when I was a whole chapter so I could get back to the teacher. A little bit down in the Bible says, What's over things? What's over things? That's the word of God. It's right here. It's right here. What's over things are true? What's over things are honest? What's over things are just? Pure. Huh? Lovely. Good report. Think on these things. What is honest? Oh, 
mother rentals and my granddaddy's church, mother rentals down there. And she was shouting. I mean, a lady was dancing yes. 90 years old. Oh, my yes. God. Yes, yes. <sighs> Get into the word of God. Yes. The word of God speaks to you. The word of God lets you know what path you're on. If you're on the right path, what you should know, what you should do or not do. That's the word of God. Let it come. Hear the word of God that your soul might live. I tell you, like I told the church the other night, you were born, you were created to glorify God. You were created to tear your body down. Amen. And all the vices of the world. Daddy had the expression, I don't even refer to my dad. My dad had a profound impact upon my life. He used to say, they go old when he's young. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So, yes, Dad, what do you mean by that? Yes. She's old, but she wants to still act like she's young. Yes. Nothing, there's nothing wrong with, with, with growing old gracefully. Yes. Yes. Nothing wrong with growing old gracefully. Yes. Yes. I'm close, my Bible. Yes. This is me now. I'm not talking to y'all. Get up off of me. This is me. I told the church I used to pass the ball. I said, I'm not going to dye my hands and fall out. I'm going to wear my ball head so y'all can see it. That's right. Thank you, Thank you. You get those right jeans, you get ball. You know, you just don't My son is part grain and part hexpet. Hexpet jeans says he's been ball. He started balling when he was in his 20s. He said, Mama, you did this to me. Very <laughs> on ball like that. Whew. I wonder. And I want y'all to forget. I want y'all to forget this. I'm running for my life. And I told you how to run. I told you how to run. You forgot. You keep your body on this objective. I told you how to do that. You get a prayer life. And you stay in the word of God. That's how you run for your life. That's that's simple. That that that's yes. elementary yes. one on one. That is just that is so simple. I should get embarrassed to tell you all that. But we're running for our life. Yes. Is there one? Yes. To the preaching of the gospel. Yes. And you're not yes. where you should be. Yes. Is there one? Yes. Is there one? I'm not going. To Drag you to the altar. I thank God. I, nobody drug me to the altar. Right. I did have a little precious evangelist. She'd go get you. Yes. <laughs> old Mother Shaw. She would go down there. Come on, you need to be saved. Oh, that's what the old saints used to do. They come and got you. Because they wanted you to be saved. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. DJ, you'll find us a young man. You have. Great aspirations in life. And I'll tell you all the time, don't forget that. Now, what do you want from the Lord? I told you that be specific. Change your heart. You know, change your heart. You're talking about conversion. Change your mind. You want to be converted. Now, I'll tell you what conversion is. You were here the other night. Conversion means you're on one path, you're on one road. And that road is leading nowhere. That's the road that leads to death. Yes, yes. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Yes. That's all you're going to get. Yes. If you stay in the world, that's all you're going to get. Yes. Yes. But if you convert, yes. repent and be converted, that oh, means you yes. turn about. Yes. This is the road that leads to the heaven, the righteousness, the holiness. Yes. <laughs> the wages of death, but the gift of God oh, yes. is eternal life. Died and who shot him. 
call him by my nickname. He said, if anybody bothers you, he said, I'll, they'll be dead by 5 o'clock this afternoon. Right. He meant it too. He yes. meant it. Oh, yeah. You got any boys you're running around with? Yes, yes, yes. You got to cut them loose. Cut them loose. Cut them loose. I'm going to cut it finer than that. Mm -hmm. If any girl mm -hmm. is not going the same way you're going, mm -hmm. you got to turn them loose. The most important thing for you is your soul. Yes. You say you want to do the first thing. Yes. Change the road we're on, now we're on the road path. Yes. That's your desire. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I'll pray the prayer for you. Hallelujah. All those things I just mentioned, if they're a distraction in any way, turn to Father God, yes. thank you for this son. <laughs> hallelujah. He was called from his mother's womb. Hey, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. He was called from his mother's womb to live holy. He wants to be converted. This is a change of mind. Yeah. His mind is toward you. Give him strength. Yeah, he's got to come out from among them and be separate. Yeah. Say it for the Lord. DJ, look at your foot. They're going to call you names. The let them call you. Don't matter. I pray the prayer of faith. Yes, yes. You walk the path yes. that your grandfather is yes. preaching and teaching about. Yes. You find yourself in the house of God. I know you're going to school. Yes. Love is going to only going to age you. He's only going to age you. Yes. You were in Baltimore uh, a few weeks ago. When my son was going back to college. Mother was telling us all the time. Yeah. I have so much faith. You're converted now because you want to do what if I told you to do. Now your job. Ask God to justify. Uh, yes. Yes. Ask God to justify yes. you by faith. Yes. Yeah. Granddad yes. didn't tell you about what all that is. Mm -hmm. You converted from ask God to yes. justify you. You got to play that way. Yes. Bible says, therefore, being justified by faith, you have peace with God.
comes in the package. If you're saved, you don't have fear. Salvation comes without all of that stuff. I can't even begin to wrap my mind around how you live in fear. The Bible says God did not give you a spirit of fear. That's that scripture. But a power, love, and a sound mind. Yes. Find yourself here so you can hear the gospel, so you can get full salvation. Father God, and I put this sister in your hand that she might know who you are. God fears nothing. That's a light thing for you. Father God, I want a soul saved. I want her delivered from sin. Spirit of a living God, let salvation break forth in her spirit. You start the operation now. God, yay, God, speak to the soul. I speak to Satan, you are a liar. Now you take your hand off of this sister, that she might be a proud. Many brethren, what must I do to say? Spirit of a living God, I thank you. I bless your name in vain for what you're going to do for her. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank God. The Bible says perfect love casts out all fear. That's what perfect love is. God! God is love. God casts out all fear. You find yourself back here at Faith Temple.
I waited any longer, I'd been six feet under. Because he missed me on the Jersey Turnpike. I should have been dead at 21 years old. God said no. I should have been dead. He followed me until the Lord just I thought it was oh, yeah, no. yeah, no. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yeah. Oh, oh hallelujah. Yeah, no. Leon, I started to pray, but the Lord stopped me. Hallelujah. Not, not, this is for your good, son. This is for your good. This is for your good. Don't cry, son. Cry, cry, cry. To you from the Lord. Yes, That's what the Lord from praying. Yes, you gonna be like the, the woman that was caught in adultery. Yes, yes, yes. They, they drowned her to Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. She had witnesses against her. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus began to write on the right on the ground, and when he lifted his head, said, "Woman, where thou Jesus?" He yes. said, "Lord, I have none. Yes. I'm gonna say to you." Your heart's tender now. Your heart is crying out. Yes, God yes, work with that. yes, yes, yes. Woo. Yes, God. Yes, God. Do like blind Bartimaeus. Uh, thou son of David, yes, yes, have yes, mercy. Yes, yes, thou yes, son of David, yes, have mercy. Yes, 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 oh, have mercy. Oh, hardcore, hardcore man, Tom. We're going to do it. Have mercy. I need you, God. Life. I want you. I want to be free. Can't sleep at night. I want to be free. I can't rest. Everything turns to death. Give me rest. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
Yes. 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 Go yes. and sin yes. no more. No more. No more. Did you can do that? Yes. Hey. Yes, sir. You're justified. Yes. 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 Like I told yes. DJ. Yes, God. Change your room. That's it. You're not doing That's it. it. You've got to change your room. You're your, your associate. Yes. Yes, God. You've got to change the way yes, you do God. things. Yes. yes, God. Come out for a moment. Come out. Come out. You need to set the up. Yes. You should be my son. Yes. You should be my daughter. Yes. Yes. That's, a, that's a promise that God gave for you this day. Yes. Right. You want to be a son? That's right. That's right. It's nice that you're the bishop's son. Right. I was a bishop's son too. But that didn't do me a bit of good. I want to be his son. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Go and sin no more. All those habits that be tied up in habits, you got to let that go. He'll give you the strength. Well, we've had smokers and drugs, addicts that stand around and don't even say what's in. That ain't nothing but just an addiction. That's you, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm praying the prayer of faith. What I'm going to say to you is, Apostle Lord Jesus, that will make you sick that you won't touch it. I pray for I'm going to give you faith. God, God's going to do this work for you. I pray for my sister. 19 years ago, she came in a prayer line and told me she was an alcoholic. I can't, can't remember how much alcohol she had. And I told her, sister, she gave her life to God. I prayed the prayer of faith. I just saw about a couple years ago. She said, Bishop, I haven't touched a drop since you told me in 19 years. Your body only requires because you did it. And you have to have it. You don't have to have it. It's going to make you sick. Uh, he, he's going to be your power. You may sit there, put it in front of you. Yes. You won't take it. Yes. Yes. You won't even take it. Yes. 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 I'm going to be standing right there. Yes. 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 Bible says, touch not, taste not, handle not the unclean thing. Yes. Drugs and alcohol, cigarettes, whatever yes. fault, that, that's the unclean thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.